Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's November 17th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update pre-Thanksgiving week, and I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Market Test. Brian, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. A very active week in the uh, new issue market, uh, a little less on the secondary side, but let's start by just talking about the overall fundamentals. We continue to see muni bonds rally this week, uh, some new economic data. What was most important? Yeah, it certainly was an interesting week. And with all eyes continuing to be on any sort of data that's going to drive uh, the Fed, um, as everybody you know is talking about, are they done? When will cuts start? Um, you know, any sort of uh, information and, and uh, economic data is really kind of moving markets these days. And this week was uh, was certainly no exception. Um, it, so it turned out to be a, a fairly volatile week, but overall a solid week for uh, rates all around. You know, we certainly kicked things off on Tuesday when CPI came in right in a sweet spot. It was just below expectations, which really jump started a, a massive rally in yields and equities. Uh, then Wednesday, we had mixed results in PPI, retail sales, and some empire manufacturing data, um, which kind of fueled a, a rate sell-off for treasuries, uh, although munis continued to outperform that uh, that day and stayed pretty firm. Uh, and then Thursday, uh, jobless claims and, and data for uh, Philly Fed manu uh, for Philly Fed um, put treasuries back in rally mode. Um, and, and today, you know, the market is mostly flat, relatively quiet. Uh, munis are up uh, a little bit, probably a couple of basis points top to bottom. Um, but uh, overall, week over week changes uh, on the treasury side of things were uh, a 22 basis, 22 basis point rally in two years, 24 basis point rally in five years, 18 basis points in 10 years, and uh, 11 basis points out long. Uh, and on the MMD side, uh, you know, we saw some underperformance in the front end, but outperformance out long. Uh, so far, two-year MMD is up about 15 basis points week over week, five-year 17 basis points, and 10-year at 15 basis points, and 30-year at 13 basis points. Again, with probably anywhere from zero to three basis point uh, rally expected uh, by, by the time MMD is set at three o'clock. Um, but overall, you know, it was a really solid tone for munis this week uh, and a very constructive environment for uh, for new issues. As you mentioned, uh, new issue volume was uh, was pretty robust. It ended up coming in higher than expected uh, as there were a handful of uh, of day-to-day -day deals that kind of came back to life. So when all is said and done, uh, the market saw probably a little over nine and a half billion that got priced. Um, and the, the nice part was uh, more than 12% of the market came with insurance. So insured penetration was over 12% this week. Uh, BAM was uh, very active. We priced uh, more than 640 million of that uh, activity. Uh, some of the highlights for, uh, for BAM activity were a $180 million deal priced for Indiana Public Improvement Bond Bank. Uh, that's a subordinate hotel and convention center revenue deal with a moral obligation backing. That was priced by Piper uh, with an A-plus underlying rating. We also insured a 90, 90 million out of about a $100 million deal for Cape Coral Water and Sewer in Florida. That was negotiated priced by Morgan Stanley and carried underlying ratings of A-1 by Moody's and A-plus by Fitch. Uh, and then we were elected on 54 out of $88 million deal uh, for an Anaheim Elementary School District, which sold competitively. Uh, that deal was purchased by Wells Fargo and carried double A minus underlying ratings. So really a busy week, um, you know, kind of up and down on the treasury front, but, uh, but really just solid tone uh, from start to finish for munis. And one of the things that's interesting is that's happening in the absence, at least so far, of any kind of strong uh, retail investor cash flows. We uh, The report we saw this week was that mutual funds were pretty much flat on the week. Uh, certainly, as, as retail investors start to get a sense of the uh, rally in rates the last couple of weeks, you'd expect uh, to see some inflows coming. That could actually fuel the muni market a little stronger going into the end of the year. Yeah, you know, it should be it should be interesting to see what happens between now uh, and, and the end of the year. You know, certainly... Uh, we've got a handful of weeks uh, where you could see some supply, uh, but whether or not that comes to fruition uh, is uh, is still to be determined. And then, you know, we're rolling into the quiet holidays, followed by, you know, historically uh, pretty strong performance in January um, when coupon reinvestment and 
uh, and fresh uh, fresh cash kind of hits the market. So uh, it could be an interesting uh, interesting couple of weeks, uh, four to four to eight weeks. But um, you know, we'll we'll see how things go. I think it was Morgan Stanley Investment Management uh, had someone quoted this morning saying that uh, muni investors are on the the brink of FOMO. Uh, the fear of missing out on uh, on these rates. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, coming in. Next week, of course, uh, Thanksgiving week, very quiet. We will not have a BAM weekly video, uh, less than uh, 500 million of bonds scheduled to price. But uh, following up uh, into December, it should be about three weeks of heavy issuance. I know I uh, encourage people to check out the BAM social media feeds and our YouTube page. We have a new Credit Insights video about uh, one upcoming transaction for Inman Campobello Water District in South Carolina. That's going to be a $61 million transaction pricing in December. That's a BAM Green Star Green Bond transaction for a new water treatment and supply source uh, for the uh, uh, district, which is north of Spartanburg in South Carolina. So please take a look uh, there and uh, learn more about that credit. Anything else, Brian? No, that's it for me this week. Thanks for your time. Have a great weekend. Thanks. You too, Mike.